I'm Werder Muller, um, I'm a certified financial planner. I started with Alt Mutual in March uh, 2009. I'm also part of uh, David Hall's uh, general practice. I'm an associate and um, yeah, initially started off like the rest of the, the family, you know, um, starting with risk business and, and savings and later on progressing into higher net worth clients. And that is one of the services that I'm providing for David is short-term insurance. Um, it is a book that I've built prior to joining him. And yeah, we're really looking at um, building on that. So initially when I started, um, you know, everything that you could earn was only upfront. So I was looking for something to, to build a, a, a trail income with. And, you know, between investments and, and short-term insurance, that was the, the bigger prospects to look for. And yeah, the focus point for me was on the short-term insurance, firstly building a, a personal lines book, and later on um, I've been uh, be able to um, add business clients. So yeah, the main purpose for me um, looking into short-term insurance was basically the, the trial income. It's important for me when establishing a, a relationship with a client on the short-term insurance side is that the client needs to um, work on a long-term relationship. I am not in the market to just deal with clients that hop in and out and are just uh, bargain hunters. So people need to understand, or the clients needs to understand, that um, we provide value and um, we want to, to walk the path and do the journey with them. Um, and then from there, we have a discussion about what are the requirements, what are they looking for, what is important to them, and based on that, we, we follow through on the discussion and do the implementation from there. And for long-term sustainable um, client relationships, I think communication is one of the, the most important things. And, uh, you know, between myself and my assistant, it is so important that we clearly communicate with the clients. But in the same fashion, we expect the same from them. Um, because we can only be a, a good broker or an advisor if we have the right information change. Um, you know, doing a, a renewal once a year is purely not enough um, to update the client's policy. And then what we do try throughout the year is to communicate with the clients either via a, a WhatsApp group um, and maybe just uh, share you know, product changes or information and maybe just entice them to, to make contact with us. And, and that's valuable for us in, in the business. Yeah, obviously um, the power surge and uh, the, the loss of power grid failure is, is top of mind. And some of the clients are, you know, really willing to, to accept the changes and, you know, do the, the requirements uh, from the insurance, like the um, type 2 search protection, uh, that's a requirement for, for load shedding. Um, and then we're in a fortunate position and as part of a COC of a, a solo, it is one of the requirements for the warranty of, of the equipment to have that search protection installed correctly. Um, so yeah, we've had issues with clients where the installations weren't done correctly and uh, we, we go through the journey with them to make sure that they get it corrected and um, make sure that everyone... Um, knows where they are standing and that we don't sit with a situation when there's a claim to say that um, you know we're not going to honor it because the installation was was done incorrectly and, and you have to pursue the installer the other thing that's um, that's important is you know on our elite, elite product it's basically the only product that that really covers the electronic equipment uh, especially solar um, to, for for the real value you know, our all ship product is capped at, uh, at, at 100,000 and um, I'm really trying to work in the elite space and making sure that we can deliver on, on, on our promise. So I recently signed up uh, um, a client, she's a single mother, uh, a kids is at Varsity and she got soda installed via, you know, a family member or a, a referral through a family member 
And then uh, when we initiated the insurance, we did require the CRC for the for the solo. And um, the client could at first not provide that, but then I arranged with one of my friends um, that's an electrician. He went and did a, a site survey free of charge and gave us a very diligent report on, um, you know, faults and, uh, you know, regulatory things that was weren't done correctly. And um, he also provided a quotation which was too steep for the client. But in the meantime, the client did manage to find an electrician um, to resolve all the issues. And um, we are literally sitting at the edge of our chairs waiting for the CRC to be issued. But yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's one of the stories I can share. So firstly, I think our products speak for themselves and we have a trusted brand that we can rely on. Um, from my side, I'm a pretty technical person, so I do have a lot of knowledge about electrical and plumbing and construction. So it's, you know, it's for me, it's an easy conversation with the clients if, if there's a problem because I do have some sort of knowledge and if I, you know, can um, acquire information or speak to a professional about these things, I can relay it to a client in a, you know, in a, a simpler way to make it more understandable for them. And I think that's that's a, a little bit of an edge that I have. My general advice to new brokers would be, you know, firstly, decide um, if this is what you want to do. Because you need to be available for your clients. And, and sometimes it's not just within working hours. Because if they, if they can't get all of the emergency numbers, that you are the person that, that they will, will make contact with. And you need to be willing to assist clients you know, literally any minute of the day. Um, but yeah, apart from that, you know, everyone needs asset protection. You know, some of the clients will need smaller things, but if if you want to make it worth your while, you need to look at clients that's established because the, the, the younger clients usually hop around and just um, search for the best premium. And later on in life, you know, once they um, own a property and they get married and have children, uh, people are ready to to build better relationships. And um, that's the market that I'm targeting. We do help the younger ones, but I also make it clear to them if if it's just a bargain and, you know, I'm not going to help you in the future again. See, my journey, um, my dad introduced me to Alt Mutual and that's where I started my financial planning career so I haven't really explored any of the other companies but we are well aware of you know the support that we do get from Alt Mutual and the promises that Alt Mutual make towards towards our customers so for me there's no purpose to to investigate and to look at other offerings out there I know there is an option at the moment on the table where we'd be be able to um, provide other insurances but for me I'm happy to provide a product where I know um, if it's if it's a true and honest claim Alt Mutual will do their part and um, not pursue the client and investigate unnecessary you know into into a claim and maybe look for a reason not to pay so I didn't sit with that stress at all yeah so again the better the relationship with the client, the easier it is to communicate with them. And um, I did find that with the commercial clients, it's actually good to to do a site visit and, you know, discuss with them changes in their business, things that they've done, new equipment that they might have bought or new processes that they've implemented, um, which might create new risks. Um, I recently had a client where they've moved... Um, between buildings, uh, they actually are two buildings and then they merged into into one which um, eased up their process. But um, in the end, it, they ended up with um, five more DB boards in their, in their premises that were on the previous setup and that also required additional fire equipment to be installed of uh, early warning systems. 
So I do find that you know the personal touch and getting to the clients is is um, is the right way of doing it. The personal clients, you know, um, not all of them I do service holistically. So the ones I do service holistically, I do see them um, often, and um, that's an easy conversation. The clients that I only do the, the short term for, you know, I don't necessarily see them unless the the premiums are you know in in a range where it it uh, quantifies to do that but um with them i do keep an open communication channel and it is very important to understand what is happening in 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 people's lives because that's that will tell us if these new risks or you know potential uh, gaps in the cover so firstly we um lodge the claims on the online platform we try and manage that ourselves um, to mitigate problems because if it goes to the call center um, you know those people maybe just want to get the claim registered but they don't select the right vehicle or the correct item and that just causes problems later on and then I do have an assistant in the office so we have early morning meetings following up on, on all our claims and um, you know, with the repairs or the service providers that's that's involved. Yeah, so keeping your finger on it, I think, is is the only only way to do it. And for me as a broker, you know, having to do that and trying to do all the other things that we do is very difficult. So an assistant is a tremendous help in this process. Oh, so on our side, we're obviously using the old mutually shared platform to the best of our abilities. Um, I think what is important in today's life is collecting enough and adequate evidence when there's a claim. Um, so when clients do report a claim or they speak to me, um, I always ask them to take as much photos as possible or even videos if, if necessary. And then with your geezer that bursts um, or anything else that goes wrong, you know, uh, if we have evidence and we can see what actually happened, it makes it a lot easier uh, when the assessors look at these things and, um, you know, it, it, it provides us with, with information that is sometimes really difficult to get. Well, honesty is uh, an important factor for me in the business because I always tell clients, if you lie to me and the assessor or, or someone from the claims catch you out, you know, I can't help you. But if you tell me the truth, and it's the honest truth, then I can fight and help you to get a claim resolved and sorted out. But if you lie to me, you know, I can't trust you. And, you know, I would not be able to continue with uh, with a business relationship um, with that client. You know, in today's life, I think that is one of the most difficult things is to stay up to date. Um, there is so much information out there and um, so many changes that happen. So I think it's important one um, to stay close to, to our sales people or sales support um, from what we should ensure and write information and if there's any changes on our side. But um, out in the market, we pick up trends pretty quickly with clients and Obviously, with the with the behaviour, that's always an expectation, or we have to manage those expectations from clients. But apart from that, we do what we have to to collect the right information, and um, you know, continuous professional development is is one of my strategies, and um, it's important to stay ahead of the game.